Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're new here, I'm all about helping you get the most out of your Samsung Galaxy devices, especially this beast right here, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So in today's video, I'm sharing some really cool and underrated features on your Galaxy phone. So from smart browser tricks to accessibility hacks that make your phone way more useful. And yes, I'm doing this on my Samsung S25 Ultra, but you can try these on many other Samsung Galaxy devices too. So just a reminder, looking at my analytics on YouTube, so a whooping 93.6% of you watching aren't subscribed. So please take a second to like, subscribe, and comment below which feature you love the most. It really helps the channel grow and keeps me making content just for you. So let's begin. So the first feature is where you can have subtitles for Samsung Internet Browser. So Samsung Internet Browser lets you enable subtitles for videos that support caption. So it's super useful if you're watching in a quiet place or you have hearing difficulties. So here, this is a good one for whoever uses Samsung internet. So here you can go ahead and go to youtube.com. And when you go ahead and play a video, you can go ahead and turn on subtitles like this. So in order to turn this on, you want to go ahead and open up your Samsung internet, tap on the three lines. And now you want to go ahead and tap on add-ons. Now here you'll see subtitles. So this is a suggested subtitles. If you don't see it, you can go ahead and tap on get more add-ons. Here you can go ahead and tap on search and search for subtitles for Samsung internet. Go ahead and install this. Now once installed, you need to go back to your Samsung internet. You need to go ahead and turn on subtitles in the add-on menu. Then you wanna go ahead and play any video. And once you play the video, you will see subtitles at the bottom here. You can go ahead and move the subtitles anywhere you like. So you can watch videos silently in tech support. It's great for noisy environments or learning languages, and it adds accessibility for hearing impaired users as well. For those of you who want to watch subtitles in different languages, you can also do that. So you can go ahead and tap on add-ons then tap on subtitles. And here you can go ahead and configure these settings. So you can go ahead and tap on add on settings and go ahead and scroll down and see all these available languages, which you can download. So if you're watching in Arabic, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, Dutch, and many other languages here. The second feature is where you can identify different sounds around you. So this feature listens for important sounds like doorbell, crying babies, running water, and alerts you with vibration or visual cue. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down and find accessibility. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find hearing enhancements. And here you wanna find sound notifications. Now you wanna go ahead and open sound notification. And here you wanna go ahead and learn about sound notification. So you can choose what sound matters to you. You can save a custom appliance sound and you can customize how you notify it. So press next. So here, these are all the list of sounds which you can detect on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So smoke and alarms, sirens, baby sound, dark, dog barking, knocking, doorbell ringing, appliance beeping, landline phone ringing, and water running. So you can go ahead and turn these features on. So here is an example. We have tried a smoke and a fire alarm. So it detected a smoke and a fire alarm, which is maybe ringing on the street outside. So this helps you when you're wearing a headphones or earbuds, or if you're having hearing difficulties, you get alerts for important sounds you might miss, and it's a peace of mind while working, cooking, or relaxing. The third feature is where you can add a search widget to your home screen for your Samsung internet. So if you're a big user of Samsung internet, you can go ahead and add a Samsung internet search widget. So you can place a quick search bar right on your home screen using the Samsung internet widget for faster browsing. So let me show you how to do this. So there are two ways you can do, go ahead and open Samsung internet, tap on the three lines, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find useful features. Now here in widgets, you can go ahead and add the search widget. So this is a search widget which we're gonna add. The other way of adding search widget is by going to an empty space, then going ahead and long pressing on it, tap widgets. So here, go ahead and scroll down and find internet. Tap on that. And now you can go ahead and add bookmarks or search. So here we'll go ahead and add a search widget. So you can go ahead and add a two by one or four by one. We'll go ahead and add a four by one. We'll go ahead and add this. And now as you can see, 
we can go ahead and add this search widget. So you can go ahead and tap on it and do your searches. You can even go ahead and tap on settings and you can go ahead and configure these search widgets. So this gives you instant access to web search. It's clean and it's customizable. So it's a clean and a customizable interface. It speeds up your daily browsing. The fourth feature is where you don't miss a notification when your phone is on silent mode. So when I say don't miss a notification when your phone is on silent mode, well, here you can basically enable the flash notification. So your camera flash can blink when you receive calls or messages. So this is perfect when your phone is on silent or it's facing down. So let me show you how to turn on this feature on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here we'll go and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. We'll go ahead and scroll down and find accessibility. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find advanced settings. And here you want to find flash notification. So here you want to go ahead and turn on camera flash notification. So camera flash notification is the notification for your camera here, the flash. You can even turn on screen flash notification. So it'll basically light up your screen. However, for now, we'll just go ahead and just tinkle around with the camera flash notification. Now here, if you tap on it, you can go ahead and configure what apps you want notification for. So let's just say you don't want net notifications for all the apps. Let's just say you want it only for WhatsApp and messages. So go ahead and turn off all those features and then go ahead and turn on WhatsApp only. So now if you tap on preview, this is the notification which we get. So as you can see, there's a light blinking. So this is the notification you're gonna get. So when the phone is down on the floor or on the table, you can see notification right away. Once the flash blinks, you can go ahead and pick your phone up and go ahead and read your notifications. So this is great as you get visual alerts without sound. It's ideal in meetings, libraries, or loud places. It is especially useful for those with hearing difficulties. The fifth feature is where you can have your Samsung internet browser read you aloud. So here you can basically let your Samsung internet browser read articles or web page out loud to you. So it's perfect for multitasking or visually impaired users. So here I use this quite often as I go ahead and open up Samsung internet, I'll go to a website and I'll go ahead and turn on a feature called read aloud. It'll basically read whatever is on the website and I can go ahead and place this phone anywhere I like and continue doing something else like cooking or maybe just cleaning the house. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here we'll go ahead and tap on Samsung internet. Then we'll go ahead and tap on the three lines. Now we'll go ahead and swipe left until you see this feature called read aloud. So once you press that, it'll basically start to read aloud. As you can see, it is highlighting whatever is being read. If I press the volume up, Symptoms of cataracts usually develop slowly. You'll often have cataracts in both eyes. At the bottom here, you can go ahead and control what is being read. So you can go ahead and rewind it. You can go ahead and go to the next sentence. You go, you can go ahead and press pause as well. So this is like a hands-free content consumption. So it's great for learning or for long reads. It supports multiple voices and speed as well. The sixth feature is where you can control your phone with voice. So on your Samsung Galaxy device, you can basically use just your voice to open apps, scroll, tap buttons, and more. No hands is required. So this is great as it basically requires no input from yourself. You can just go ahead and speak to your phone and you can basically control it. So let me show you how to turn it on and how to use this. So first you wanna go ahead and bring down this quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find accessibility. Now from here, you wanna find interaction and dexterity. Now here, find voice access. Right here, tap on this, and now turn this feature on. So here you can go ahead and read a few things about it. So voice access lets you control your Android devices hands-free, and you can use the voice command to open apps, tap buttons, scroll, type, and more. So these are all the commands you can try. Go home, go back, show notification, click OK, open photos. So here we'll go ahead and turn on a voice access shortcut. So I can go ahead and turn this feature on and off whenever I like. I can go ahead and tap on settings and I can go ahead and configure all these settings. So require verbs, time out after no speech. I need the activation button, activate for incoming calls. I can activate it during calls as well. 
and so on. So here we'll just go ahead and try it. So here, before we start, we'll go ahead and bring down a new notification panel. It says tap to start. So go ahead and tap on this. This will now require you to download an English language pack. So go ahead and tap on download. That is downloading. Let's just wait for a while. So downloading is finished. Now it's listening. So now we can go ahead and control your phone. Open TikTok. Go back home. Go home. Open settings. Go back. Go back. Go back. General management. Date and time. Press home. So as you can see, this is like a hands-free control of your phone. It's great for mobility issues. It boosts productivity when your hands are busy. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can master the magnifying feature on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So, so your Galaxy device has not only one, but three magnifying features. So the three magnifying features are S Pen magnifier, screen magnifier, and your camera magnifier. So let me show you how you can master the magnifying feature on your Samsung Galaxy device. So here I'll first go ahead and show you the S Pen. So when you remove your S Pen, you'll get this air command on the right hand side. From here, you can go ahead and choose the magnify option. If you don't see it, you can go ahead and tap on the plus sign and you can go ahead and add it from here, the magnifier. Now you can go ahead and press home. Now go ahead and open the air command and then go ahead and tap on magnifier. So now with your S Pen, you can go ahead and point anywhere you like, and this will basically magnify whatever is being pointed at. At the top right here, you have a configuration button here, a toolbar, you can go ahead and configure that for 300%, so you can go ahead and magnify it as much as you like. You can go ahead and make it full screen or large screen, and then if you don't wanna use it, you can go ahead and tap on the X, and that will close your magnifier. Now, the other way of using the magnifier feature on your Samsung S25 Ultra is by opening up the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down all the way until you see accessibility. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find visibility enhancements or vision enhancement, scroll down and you'll see the magnification. So tap on this. And now here, you can go ahead and turn this feature on. So I've already added the magnification shortcut in my accessibility here. And then I can go ahead and choose the magnifier type. So I can allow switching between partial screen and full screen. And here you can choose if you wanna move the cursor while typing. So here is an example, we'll go ahead and press home. We'll go ahead and open the accessibility and open up the magnification. So here, as you can see, this is the box which will magnify anything you see on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So you can basically take it anywhere you like and that will magnify it. If you wanna configure the magnification, tap on the settings here and you can go ahead and choose all these different sizes of the boxes. You can even go ahead and choose full screen mode. You can I mean, allow diagonal scrolling and you can go ahead and control the zoom level. Here you can go ahead and control the box amount of zoom and you can go ahead and customize your magnifier. So that is a second magnifier where you can basically zoom on screen. We'll go ahead and close this. Now the third magnifier here on your Samsung S25 Ultra is a camera magnifier. So it basically uses your camera to zoom in on real world objects. So this is great as if you have seeing difficulties and you want to maybe read a certain text on a product and it's really small, you can basically use your camera, your Samsung S25 Ultra to magnify that for you. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the settings, scroll down and find accessibility. Now here, tap on vision enhancements, scroll down and here you'll see the option called magnifier. Tap on this and then go ahead and turn this feature on. And here I have basically set it to appear in my accessibility shortcut. Tap home, go ahead and open up the accessibility shortcut, magnifier. This will open up your camera view. And here you can go ahead and zoom in and zoom out. So here I have applied a filter. So this is what your normal view will look like. Let me put the brightness up a bit and the contrast. So here is an example. We'll go ahead and read 
this small text on screen. So here you can go ahead and magnify this. So using the minus and plus button here, you can go ahead and zoom into this and you can go ahead and zoom out from this. Now, for those of you who have difficulty even seeing this, you can go ahead and use filters. So you can go ahead and use all these different filters, inverted filters. So it'll basically invert the colors, a white on black, black on white, you have the yellow on black, black on yellow, white on blue, blue on white, yellow on blue, red on black and black on red. So these are all the different color filters which you can apply and read your text on. If that's not enough, you can go ahead and choose the contrast and you can go ahead and mess up with this and you can basically read much better. So it's totally up to you. If you feel like capturing something, you can go ahead and tap on capture and this will capture the item for you. You need to go ahead and save this to save it to your phone library. So this is perfect for reading fine print. It's great for low vision users and it helps in daily use like reading menus or documents. So those were some of the most useful and underrated features on my S25 Ultra. And yes, most of these features are available on other Samsung Galaxy devices too. So if you learned something new today or enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment below. I read every comment and I love hearing how you all are using your devices. And remember, over 93% of you are still watching without subscribing. So help me bring you more awesome content by hitting that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps the channel grow. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.